Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.5 here on Natural Professional Walkthrough channel with me, your host Max. On this episode we will venture out once again to the Fern Islands in order to see if we can clear out the mines. Now we are facing brand new enemies, last time I was here on the video on how you can get to the island specifically, I actually discovered that explosives would seem pretty damn useful, it looks like the animation is gonna happen only once, so let's see if we can actually clear out the lava mines and see if we can get to the dwarven blacksmith shop now we will try to deal with the tent and whatever is happening in here as well but no promises first of all i should focus on like trying to just survive the basic stuff now i should be able to somehow get to some of these walnuts and such uh, i'm gonna probably have to look into that as well it looks like there's a secret passage through here which should allow me to pick up quite a lot of walnuts and these should then theoretically allow me to grab a few more things so this one leads unfortunately only here I'm gonna have to find a way to this one let's take a look if we can locate it it's gonna be super easy barely an inconvenience but maybe not Okay, let's stop wasting time and see if we can clear out those 10 levels. Now, for the hell of it, I actually brought even a staircase, because I want to see if the staircase can be used here. Now, once again, we're going to require our trusty watering can to do the nitty gritty and get us through the lava. And once we get here, we're going to be able to proceed further. Now immediately, I'm going to be facing off lots of enemies because I have decided to come here on the unluckiest of days. So I'm not going to waste too much time here. I want to see if the explosives are working, how effective they are. It looks like the explosives are going to be working, which is going to be tremendous help in clearing out these segments. Especially because some of these enemies are quite deadly. Ooh, here we have a new enemy. This one looks really awesome. Ooh, and once you kill it, it actually explodes. That's awesome. Really nice to see that once you clear out an enemy, it might actually theoretically damage some of the other enemies. Although in 1.4 version, there was one ring. I think it was the napalm ring or something like this which was added where if you would kill the enemy anything in its vicinity would explode so theoretically who knows but let's see what we get out of this boy nothing okay we are a level deeper i really want to see if the staircase will work it doesn't seem to be willing to place down so it looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way and actually clear out the mine of everything with the use of the explosives and such hopefully these flames will be able to let me make sure I get there now remember that if you want to get to the forge you will need to always go through the 10 levels so it's gonna be pretty damn important for you to not forget something because uh, going through the mines again might be super dangerous or super awkward especially if you don't have plenty of supplies that will help you survive the run now because i am here on the unluckiest of days i'm not really sure how this will affect the spawn of the enemies and how hard it will be for me to clear out some of these segments of the mine this is the first time i'm actually here so i'm really interested to see how difficult it can be and i'm also interested to find out eventually like how items like lucky lunch 
or anything else which changes the overall luck for the player will affect the overall result of the game. Uh, I'm not gonna waste an explosive here, let's just go for the other level. We're gonna be surrounded by a plethora of enemies straight, right from the get-go. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I will be able to clear this place out and make my way to next level. Now, okay, uh, so far, how are we looking? There is this weird looking switch, which I'm interested to see what it does. It might be that this level will require me to pull some of those levers in order to uh, allow me to go deeper in the mines. Let's try to... Oh, actually, I managed to dodge somehow. Don't even know how that happened. Ah, pineapple seeds! Awesome! Awesome, awesome. So pineapple seeds or pineapples are one of the newly added crops. Now, in comparison to mango trees and banana trees, these are not trees. I mean, if you've ever seen pineapples, there are these tiny plants which on top grow the pineapple fruit. And I always thought it, it, it's, it cannot look like that, but I was actually really amazed once I saw a farm of pineapples in real life. That, that was some fun stuff. So pineapples are gonna work a bit differently. I do wonder if you can actually grow pineapples freely back at your farm because if you require or if you take a look at the taro tuber it will tell you that it grows better near water and it takes 10 days and it grows better in warmer climates which makes me wonder if the war warmer climate can refer to theoretically like a summer crop or if it's just like specifically to the island itself please tell me this goes to no how is it possible I just came back? Yeah, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to Not Your Professional Boxers. You will see this type of stuff a lot. I kid you not. I get lost a lot. But hopefully I will be able to get to where I'm headed, because otherwise this is gonna be super awkward. I mean, it already is, but who knows? Uh, maybe it was not such a great idea to come here on the unluckiest days. Well, at least we will have, like, a test sample or sorts, which will let me know that there are even bad ideas for videos. Well, there usually are. Oh, okay, and who do we have here? It looks like a dwarf merchant. Cinder Clown Shoes. Okay, interesting. Cherry Bomb, Bomb, Mega Bomb, Port Totem Island recipe, Ginger Ale recipe, three gingers and sugar. Gingers can be found on the island. I'm gonna actually grab both of these. I don't really know what will be required for us to craft the totem to the island. So we will require five pieces of hardwood, one dragon tooth, and one ginger. Okay, pretty damn interesting. Pretty damn interesting. Oh man, this is massive. I'm gonna go with a big bomb. Hopefully that's gonna help us clear out a lot of this debris here. Man, this little bugger is actually kicking my ass. You wonder if I would have a entirely different luck on like a super lucky day or neutral day. Oh wow, we actually have like a burning effect. It looks like the deeper we get, the dangerous these little buggers get. These yellow ones are extra crispy. They're really making it difficult for me to go through here. I'm gonna drop an explosive. Thankfully, I have plenty of forageables that have healing capabilities. 
Ken, look at the jump on this guy. You are so annoying. And I am hitting you with freaking Iridium Sword. Okay, so we're looking for levers in order to... Open up the doors. There are usually around like two of them, so we're gonna have to look around. Okay, that's not exactly what I was thinking will happen, but here is one. And now we need to find the second. So this is gonna help us out collect the rocks. It's really a shame that you cannot utilize the damn staircase, but then again I can understand probably why the creator has decided to go against such decision. It would like make this whole thing completely pointless. Seriously, what's up with this hostility? Just trying to showcase to the viewers the new lava dungeon. Okay, so I kind of missed out this one right at the start. So now the doors should be opened. We are only at level 6, so, so far, pretty damn terrible. Pretty damn terrible. Okay. Uh... Okay, there's gonna be probably a lot of these fire-spitting creatures in this massive lava river. Okay, I'm not even sure you can get to this place. Logic dictates probably yeah. Just have to utilize that brain thing, which I obviously cannot. So let's heal again. There's iridium, there's gold. The iridium is usually much more difficult to come across. Why the heck not? And I cannot imagine people would try to come here with like a lesser quality tools. That would probably make it a bit more difficult. And look at this, you actually have to utilize watering can in order to get across. That's pretty cool. Oh man. Can we clear this out? I am looking for those bitches. So here we have one, and I cannot guarantee where the second one can be. And I'm probably assuming it's not the most logical thing to tap onto lava. I'm not sure if it's even possible. I mean, my avatar is not allowing me, or my character is not allowing me to go. Therefore, I'm gonna assume it's it's not like normal thing to do here. Let's see if I can find the second switch, if it's even possible. I don't know if these fallen stones or walls are preventing the explosions, but it looks like no. I don't really want to deal with the flamethrower. So... Yeah, and look at it, it's already 12, and I am only at level 7, so coming here on the unluckiest of days is definitely not the best idea. Then again, I'm not really sure if you're gonna have like a hut here, so that you can uh, come to this place, or like save your progress on the island. And they are definitely making it super difficult for me. I wanna heal at least somewhat. I think I'm gonna have to be forced to come back another time. We're gonna try this one more time to see if I can actually get a bit 
deeper, some of these things will be required to be popped off at the tent there. So I'm not really sure which things I need to take with me, but I'm gonna go and hit the bed. also probably a smart idea to try and restock on the explosives once I drop off some of these things which I have picked up obviously I'm gonna have to keep some of these things okay so dropping off the raw materials now fortunately for us the dwarf actually does not have a time limit he is just inside the cave so since he's inside he doesn't know if it's morning day or night or whichever part of the day we're just gonna stack up on more of these and i'm gonna see if i can actually make it a bit deeper this time i'm gonna say hi to your relative and you know what's actually funny? I did not even manage to check what's the luck today. So just for the heck of it, since shop is open from 8 a.m., let's take a look at it. Ah, oh, man, why did I move the TV all the way here? Okay, once again, super unlucky day. And I'm a sucker for punishment. Well, at least the possibility of me picking up those golden walnuts is increased. Fingers crossed. I really do wonder if I'm gonna pop a lucky lunch, if it's gonna do just about anything to change the difficulty of the mines or the spawn rate of some of the rollies. So let's head out. I should be also picking up the muscles because I think I saw in some of the videos that you will require like 75 muscles or so in order to grab one of the fruit trees. So for one of them you're gonna require like the dragon teeth or dragon tooth, no dragon teeth when it's Multiple its teeth, right? Don should let me know. Uh, okay. So, we're, we're not there, obviously, because... Why do I have only four muscles? Please don't tell me I actually sold the entire stock of muscles I kept on myself. That, that would be pretty damn idiotic of me. But then again, I have done dumber stuff. So let's take the boat for a spin. I'll talk to you once I reach the mines. Okay, actually managed to come across some ginger. And in order for me to extract the ginger, it's actually funny that the ginger has animation. You need to utilize the hoe. Let's replenish the watering can and let's see if we can run past our friends here in order to get to first level. Okay, so it's dramatically changing the layout. So it's not gonna be like when the 1.4 version has been dropped and the level for the golden site has been introduced. I mean, that's just like one level, and that, that that's it. And I'm immediately being swarmed by way too many things. Which makes me think, I am not welcome here. Oh, 
All I wanted to do is use watering can to get across here. Don't really want to waste too much time mining or such. Getting resources can be easier, but of course, if you want to challenge yourself, go nuts. Okay, what do we have here? We have two ways to go through. Obviously, I'm not sure if the one which I picked up is correct, but it looks like it is. There, I would need to utilize a good amount of water. And I can assume that coming here with not upgraded watering can might be actually super annoying. Man, this actually looks like some dwarven ruins or something. And of course we come across one of the new enemies. Now at the time of me recording the video, the newly created enemies are still not on the wiki page. But the community behind the wiki page is working hard to populate all the information. Most of the stuff on some of the NPCs has been already provided. Some of the things on uh, some other content have been provided too. Actually pop a cheesy cauliflower this time. Just because I can. Uh, the goal here is... Go as deep, as fast as possible. Now it's gonna get much, much difficult for us to go further. Ah, oh, okay, Root Splatter actually gives us plus three attack. Might be useful, but I do have plenty of explosives and such. I'm not really sure uh, all of these levels will be implementing the feature of me utilizing the watering can kind of does make sense after all it did offer me to replenish the water reserve this is actually funny placement because he cannot reach me and i cannot reach him which is super weird i would actually think that from this position wow look at this bugger he actually waits for me to attack Let's try to do... A defensive movement. It was once again loading or waiting for the time to charge. So this is actually gonna put a pretty damn decent spin on the whole dynamic of the attackers. Because this time you cannot just keep on spamming the attack button or this guy will surely get to you and look at it i definitely took some beating thanks to the fact that i did drink the iridium milk and such i actually do have some boost in my health pool so it should be a little less of a dangerous thing but still i'm not gonna underestimate the enemy that would be foolish Let's see, let's see, can we find the doors next level? Yes, we can, we can. So all things considered, if you just focus on like running through the mines, it seems like this can be done. Yeah, he's once again winding up for the assault. Not sure if he does it like after you strike him or like every third time he tries to attack this is truly interesting and the fact that it slows you down can also arm you as well as other creatures can get to you in that time okay i really don't want to put up with you, my dear friend the only problem reaching him that's for sure and I don't like to use the slingshot because I think it's super ineffective. So, you know what, let's pop this over here. It's gonna give us some options. Okay, so this is the way to go. Let's go through here. 
almost got me there. Okay, level 9. It looks like we are closing into the Dwarven Forge. I do not know what items can be enchanted and what would be the overall effect of the enchantment. But man, there's so many of these buggers. So probably just swinging the sword or willy-nilly is not the best practice here. Although that's the only way I tend to play this, so... Yeah. What can I tell you? Unless your professional walkthroughs is the name of the channel for a specific purpose. If you're new to the channel... Whoa! These were actual freaking traps! I did not even notice that first. He had like an Indiana Jones sequence here. Instead of darts, they were throwing these weird parts. I don't want to die. Okay, so, uh, almost dead. Oh! You tell me I managed to get that. Oh, thank you. No! What are you doing? Cheesy cauliflower is supposed to heal me. What happened? So, I'm not really sure if these traps are still active. Guess I'm gonna find out soon. So let's heal up. Should be able to move in further. It's actually pretty damn tricky. Gotta admit. Great creative... Choices have been made on this. So far, I'm pretty damn impressed with this new dungeon. A whole lot more thought has been placed into this. So we need to get over here, I'm getting. And I can see that there are some more of those pesky pesky traps. And the fun thing is, I don't even see a freaking switch in here, so... Okay, so we should be able to go further. Whoa, look at this! I so hate the fact that I cannot make a freaking print screen when I'm in Steam while OBS is running. I, I don't know, it's, it's a laptop thing. Looks like through here we might be able to get somewhere. Ooh, prismatic shard. We are so taking this. So taking so what can we theoretically put to be enchanted? We can enchant the Galaxy Sword, the Indian Pickaxe, the Indian Axe, the Indian Ho, Watering Can, and even the Rod. What happens if we... Oh, so it looks like different things have different effects. I'm not really sure what would happen if we would put in the prismatic shard. Um, you'll make... I just don't know what's the bonus. 20 of the... Uh, oh, so you need to have the cinder shard apparently as some form of a fuel. Okay. Let's see what's the effect crusader i'm not really sure what the hell does that do but yeah on the top of the active volcano you can enchant your things now i'm not really sure uh which minerals can you take here in order to do the enchantment like uh I'm not sure if like diamond would work with this or if just the sword is more flexible with what type of ingredients you use to enchant them, but for that I would definitely suggest the wiki page. They will most likely update it. And here's the fun thing. If you leave here, I'm quite sure... Ah, oh, you can actually get... What what are the chances if I leave through here and come back? But this is now opened. 
I thought that each time you actually have to go through the whole shebang in order to get here. Huh. Okay, well, maybe when we come here the next day, it uh, makes the whole thing redundant and the process needs to be repeated. But, yeah. Uh, did we manage to pick up enough of the damn... Sorry for that. Did we manage to pick up enough walnuts in order to free up one of the pathways with the carrot so that we can get to another section of the map? Yeah! Okay, it looks like we did manage to do so. so let's take a look. Okay, it looks like the carrots attack the turtle and then the turtle backs away. And for 20 walnuts, it looks like we can have a farm here. A pretty decent looking farm, indeed. Can we clear this out with the mega explosives? Yes, we can. So, this theoretically would change a lot of things for any of the players who decide to do the beach farm. There is plenty of farming land on here, so this is actually pretty damn useful. There are the new trees. I do wonder if these can like drop coconuts or something. You have some additional ginger in here. It does suck that it will require 20 additional walnuts to acquire. But look at this, we have another person here. Oh, a visitor. Come closer, child. I haven't had a visitor in many moons. I almost forgot what other people look like. Yeah, well, after COVID and being at home for nine months, I'm, I'm not the best choice you can have. Well, I suppose now that you're here, I may as well ask you for a favor. Of course. Have you seen the wrecked ship on the south shore? No. My husband was the captain, a pirate he was. Set sail one day, never to return. Took me three years sailing the high seas to find his remains. I've been here ever since, dear, guarding his bones. My child, if I could only find a keepsake of his, it would bring me such peace. Here, take this. It's an old photograph that washed up on the shore. It's all I have to offer, but somehow I think... It will help you find what you seek. And we're gonna drop off the plate. So, a nice shoreline. Another walnut. Ooh, you hear a strange voice from behind the door. Only the greatest walnut hunters may enter here. Your current status 11 out of 100. Looks like there are even some of the slimes right here by the farm. Wow, okay. Another walnut. There are some ginger roots. Ah, okay, so I'm guessing that if we would drop off 10 walnuts with this parrot, he would be able to transfer us, or like two parrots, or how many would land on this, grab it, and then just fly us off to one of the many, many locations around the island. Okay, that's pretty damn neat. So I'm guessing this will be it for the magma mines. 
For more content, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. I publish content on a weekly basis. I do mostly playthrough. I do discussion videos. I do early in-game reviews. I do tips and tricks. I'm planning on doing a whole lot more. But uh, if you do know anything about the current situation on how difficult it is to get certain PC components, yeah, it's gonna take a while. So no promises, but in order to stay notified and up to date, definitely smash that notification button. It's gonna help you out a lot. I'm gonna wish you pleasant holidays. May you spend them with your loved ones or family. I don't know how you feel about them, but sure, whatever. And I'm gonna see you in the comment section or at the next one. Thank you for watching everyone, stay safe, have fun, and enjoy the 1.5 update.